Hello, my name is Martin. Welcome to the new Wieselwood project. In today's episode, we follow along our shop improvement series. In the last episode, we already finished the cabinets for our new workbench. And today, we are going to install the suckers. So, first part is to dismantle the old workbench. So we can use the workbench top for the new workbench. It's a nice solid plate, so why buy a new one? And finally, we install the extension of our workbench to uh, give the dual press and the middle saw a permanent nice saw. So, let's get started and see how it works out. Well, you must know, as I built this thing about two years ago, I thought I would never disassemble it. But, as we all know, time changes everything, now I know it better. Um, I think I need some better arguments to disassemble this thing, but have a look. Plan A didn't work so well. Let's go ahead for plan B.
Well guys, what do you think? Looking pretty sharp. I like it so far. So I want to get this workbench as solid as possible. So I go ahead and mount them, mount the cabinets to the concrete wall. Uh, I want to drill two holes in the upper corners and use these concrete screws to mount them to the wall. I like this. They are pretty cool. You just have to drill a 6mm hole and screw them in with an impact drill. And they are solid as a coffin nail, trust me. Uh, so, let's get started. So, I laid my two machines out as I want them to be. Now it's time to mount them to the table. By the drill press it's pretty much straightforward. Just drill two holes and use the M10 screws to screw it down. For the capex it's a bit more difficult because I uh, want it to be um, movable so I can put it away as I need it somewhere else. So I do the same trick as I did on my water table. I use the tabletop of the small MFT table uh, as a drill pattern 
to drill the mounting holes for the cap packs and still have the possibility to take it away and use it somewhere else. So the last thing we have to mount is our nice little ice here. I think I'll put it here between those two cabinets. It's a nice place to sit on. But uh, we have a little problem. Our nice little screws are a bit too long. So uh, we have to install a little beam underneath here and screw it through all through the plate and the beam. So yeah, 
it's a nice excuse to use our middle saw. <laughs> Well guys, that's it for today's episode. I like how the workbench turned out. It's pretty nice in my opinion. Um, I will figure out how I want the doors to be laid out so we can have a future episode where we can build the doors. Uh, one of the major things that I like on this build is the extended workbench with the middle saw and the dual press on it. I it was very important for me to give them a, a permanent and nice home so they are always handy if, if I need them so yeah give me some comments how do you like this build give it a thumbs up if you do like it and have a nice day bye